all right welcome back so finally we're ready to set up our part so we can start machining so come over here and come to machine type mill and default to bring out your mill toolpath okay and the first thing we want to do also is i'm going to bring my z to z back to zero so now my z my origin is going to be at the bottom right here and this way i always know uh you know especially when i'm machining the depth over here i know the exact depth to go to okay because the height is not necessarily known i don't have anywhere on my drawing that shows what the height is that's because we've uh, created this using a 1.5 inch height and then created a radius afterwards so that radius changed the height of the part and we don't know the exact height of the part and because of that i'm going to start with the origin being at the bottom and this way i know exactly what depth to go to uh you know or how you know high it is higher it is from zero down here i need to machine for example if i go back to my drawing i have a quarter of an inch depth of these pockets and this way i know that from my origin it's a quarter of an inch above that but if i'm above here i really don't know where the origin is uh, on top and so that will be just playing with fire and will not be machining it to the drawing okay so let's go ahead and place this into isometric view fit the screen so you can see it better and come over here to properties and select tool settings for tool settings for program let's go ahead and check for and go ahead and select all these uh, options that you see right on the right I usually like to select them all and keep everything the same and then go to stock setup make sure rectangular i'm sorry cylindrical is a check we are doing a cylindrical part but it's not a turning part remember usually a turning part would be uh to the right over here and you'd be turning it um there would be x y and z usually for the turning you will not see x y and z but you actually need to flip this so if you actually keep checking this until you get to z that's how you want to see it so you're going to need the diameter of the part okay and the height of the part now we don't know the height of the part but i know it's a little bit bigger than 1.25 so what i can do to be safe is do 1.3 for the height all right and for the diameter i can just check my drawing and it will tell me the exact diameter which is 2.5 so if it's radius is 2.5 that means the diameter is 5 so let's go ahead and make that 5.1 make it a little bit bigger as well okay and go ahead and select okay and let's see how that looks like now i didn't tell it to display anything that's why you don't see anything on the screen so go back to your stock setup and select display over here so you can see it onto the screen after you select okay so there's your wireframe for your part and if i place this into my front view you'll notice that the part starts right here and it goes a little bit over my part it's exactly what i want and if I place this into the top view, you'll notice that the stock goes a little bit past the diameter of my part. That's exactly what I want. This way it allows me to come back and machine all the way through, machine all the stock to the depth that I want and to the correct height that I want as well. So that now that my part is all set up, we're ready to create our first machining operation.